Draft season is one of the best times of year. Mock drafts galore, and every fan has their own opinion about what players their team should take. While some players may fly under the radar, others jump off the page with ridiculous athleticism. Today's list will be talking about the latter, the 10 biggest athletic freaks in this year's drafts. Kyle Pitts Going into the college football season, Kyle Pitts was on everyone's watch list, and he delivered better than anyone could imagine. There's just not many guys walking the planet that are 6'6", six six, running a 4'4", In the land of Megatrons and Metcalfs, Pitts fits right in. Friendly reminder before we keep going, he's a tight end. Pitts moves like a big body receiver disguised as a tight end, able to split out wide like Kelsey or Waller. At 250 pounds, he cuts effortlessly. Pitts began the 2020 season in domination mode, catching four touchdowns opening weekend. In the shortened season, Pitts' numbers were unearthly. 43 receptions for 770 yards and 12 touchdowns. Kyle Pitts was Godzilla in a monster-filled SEC. 50-50 balls are in fact not 50-50 when thrown to number 84. His hands measure at 10 and 5 eighths inches. Compare that to when we awed at OBJ's 10-inch hands. Then, let's talk about the fact that he has the longest receiver wingspan we've seen in 20 years. If someone told me Kyle Pitts was an Avenger, I wouldn't bat an eye. He's a can't-miss freak of nature. Jamar Chase Jamar Chase is a name you better not have forgotten. After winning the 2019 Bolitnikov Award, Chase opted out of the 2020 season that was riddled with question marks on and off the field for LSU. But we've got to make sure we remember why Chase won that Bolitnikov. Go find a 50-50 ball Jamar lost in 2019. Chase makes playing receiver look effortless. He glides through cuts and easily snags passes that look out of reach with a 41-inch vertical. Don't try to press him either. He's strong off the line and even stronger at the catch point, so it's almost impossible to stop him from getting the ball. How could we forget the national title game? Nine receptions for 221 yards and two scores. There's still no proof Chase doesn't have magnets in his hands. He can make every play. When everyone thought they had Jamar figured out, just some jump ball guy with good hands. He ran a 4-3-8-40, and that sealed the book shut. Micah Parsons Another COVID opt-out, Micah Parsons is a defensive coordinator's dream. You can put this guy anywhere, just to ask him. His pro day ended with this quote, I'm the most versatile player in the draft. I can play middle linebacker, outside, and even rush the passer. Now let's ask you, would you take a guy that's 6'3", 235 pounds, that just so happens to run a 4-3-9-40 and has a 39-inch vertical? Imagine getting hit by that guy with a running start. His on-field stats back up that freak versatility. 108 tackles, six and a half sacks, and six forced fumbles. Micah Parsons is a freight train that doesn't have to adhere to the laws of the track. Between his flexibility and innate playmaking skills to go with superhuman athleticism, it's hard not to compare him to a player like Devin White, a guy who we just watched take over the NFL playoffs. White also ran a 4-4-40 with a 40-inch vert. You add both their abilities to blitz, force plays, and rush the passer, and Parsons is a freak of nature that won't be on the board long on draft night. Justin Fields We know about his 67 touchdowns to only 9 interceptions and his incredible playoff performance against Clemson, but why is Fields on this list? Ohio State has a wall for their 40-yard dash leaderboard, and one name sticks out more than the rest, Justin Fields. How often do you see QBs on that leaderboard? In his pro day, Fields ran a 4-4 while stumbling. How fast is this guy? It's going to be a pain to defend a guy that can already kill you with his arm. Then, just when you think you've got good coverage, he takes off and is faster than your fastest corner. He's not just one of the best quarterback athletes. He's one of the best athletes on field, period. To add to his remarkable speed is a howitzer attached to his right arm. Fields put it on display multiple times against Clemson rocketing deep balls that went so far they flew off the TV screen. He is a certified freak and is easily the most physically gifted quarterback in the 2021 draft. Excitement grew when the 49ers moved up to number three. Could Fields be the reason why? Caleb Farley Caleb Farley isn't talked about enough among top corners in this year's draft. And the same goes when we talk about the athletic freaks. First, pure size at the corner position. Farley is six foot two, about as tall as you can get for a corner, and has 33 and 3 8 inch arms, which, if you don't know, is a wingspan that makes Pete Carroll smile. To be that big and run like Caleb Farley can is unprecedented, and 
really unfair. Against Notre Dame, Farley was clocked in at running 24 miles per hour. If you need a measuring stick, the NFL's fastest clock was Tyree Kill at 22 miles per hour. If you haven't heard much about Farley, it's not your fault. He's missed a lot of time on the field. He missed his true freshman season with a knee injury. The next two seasons, he rose to make the All-ACC team, but injured his back. Farley opted out of 2020, and back surgery kept him from running at VTEC's Pro Day. His injury history makes it a risk to take Farley early, but when his coaches timed him at a 4.2840 with prototype build, it's a risk someone will take. Jason Owe When the world descended on Happy Valley to see Micah Parsons in person, it was another that also put on a jaw-dropping show. Jason Owe shell-shocked the viewing audience at Penn State's Pro Day weighing in at 6 foot 5, 257 pounds, and running a 4-3-6. No, that's not a typo. Defensive linemen should not be running 4-3s. A scout said, fast guys go high, explosive guys go high. Owe is both. It can't get any simpler than that. Not to mention his 39-inch vert and 11-foot broad jump. Owe is just touching his potential, with only five years of playing experience. If there was a combine this year, Owe's 40 time would have been the fastest ever recorded by a D lineman, beating out one of the biggest freaks of nature in combine history, Montez Sweat. Speaking of Sweat, when you throw Owe's numbers up next to his, you can see the resemblance. Their explosiveness and speed is almost identical, and Sweat was an unrefined project when Washington took a chance on it. Who will take the chance on Jason Owe? Jalen Waddell there's not a player that defenses are happier to see move on from college football than Jalen Waddell. We don't blame them. He skates to one song and one song only, speed. Jalen Waddell starts in fifth gear, while others start in first. There's few people in the world you can visibly see running away from world-class athletes trying to catch him. Waddell's not overly tall or big. He doesn't have freakishly large hands or long arms. He's on here for one reason, speed kills. But unlike the typical speedster, Waddle can do far more than just run straight. He's a great route runner and is just as fast in and out of breaks as he is on the straightaway. He will also walk into the league on the do not kick or punt to list. As SEC Special Teams Player of the Year, Waddle housed three returns in two seasons and averaged 19 yards a return. 11 of his 20 career touchdowns were 50 plus yards. While there is no 40 time to quantify Waddle's speed, in a race with Henry Ruggs, who ran a 4.27, it was a photo finish. Georgia corner Eric Stokes, who ran a 4.28, got left in the dust by Waddle, so it's safe to say he's pretty fast. Quitty Pay Relative athletic score, or RAS, is used to grade athletic abilities based on position. A 10 is a perfect score. Quitty Pay scored 9.98. Pay is a 6'3", 260-pound edge rusher from Michigan with one of the rarest blends of strength and speed you could find. Just a few weeks ago, Pay lit up the Michigan Pro Day. While a 4-5 40-yard dash is impressive enough, pair that with a colossal 36 reps of 225 on the bench, and you have a problem. You don't want Pay hitting your quarterback. It's only gonna take a sack or two before he's watching on the sideline, just like me and you. Pay's a juggernaut with explosive get-off. He's physical, aggressive, and possesses a quick strike ability like few others have. His lack of production at Michigan is going to scare some teams off. He's only sacked the quarterback 10 times in over four seasons of play and only has 19 starts. But if Pay lands with the right team in the right system, he could be a nightmare for quarterbacks for years to come. Anthony Schwartz The best way to introduce this guy is by nickname first, Flash. Anthony Schwartz has track speed. No, seriously, he holds the youth world's 100-meter dash record with a 10.15. Let's change that for you 40-yard time guys. At Auburn's Pro Day, Flash clocked in at 4.26. Unofficial, but that number would be good for the third fastest time ever. Make no mistake, Anthony Schwartz is a world-class sprinter. The guy is looking for a chance to prove his speed too, even calling out Tyree Kill in pre-draft interviews. I feel like I'm the fastest guy in football. That constant energy is never-ending if you ask his mother, Jill. So much energy, he's non-stop. I don't know where that came from. Well, we know where it went, right to Auburn, where he became one of the biggest aftercatch threats in their history. Schwartz knows the hate on him is that he's a sprinter playing football, but he wants to shift that narrative to a dominant football player who happens to be the fastest player on the field. This guy's the limit for a guy who earned the nickname Flash at just 13 years old. Because as the old saying goes, you can't teach speed. Rashawn Slater. We're ending this off on the right note, the big guys. 
the NFL doesn't have many big uglies blocking for their $100 million quarterback anymore. It takes a powerful, agile, and explosive athlete nowadays. Rashawn Slater is all that and more. The 6'4", 300-pound Northwestern standout is a babyface killer and just as much an athletic freak as anyone else on this list. Last offseason, people couldn't stop raving about the athletic marvel Tristan Wirfs was, and Slater can match his record-breaking performance event by event. Wirfs 485 to Slater's 488 40-yard dash. 33 reps on bench from Slater was nine more than Wirfs, and Slater beat him in the three-cone drill. But more importantly, when the competition was at its best, Slater turned up. In 2019, he didn't allow a single sack, and in his matchup against Chase Young, Slater absolutely stoned him the entire game. His absolutely dominant tape and crazy blend of ability is shooting him up draft boards. Don't be surprised to see his name called very early.